Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. In the last episode, we had a little bit of a duel uh, in a Colossus type area, and we defeated a rather slippery bug type uh, colossi that liked to um, scramble along the walls, which was really interesting. Now, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do, the next one should be in the desert, over in this direction. Which could be quite an interesting character. I'm trying to think what might be a desert style colossi. Maybe some kind of bug. Like a scarab or something. Uh, but then we've already had a few of those. What about... Now how do we get on the, the horse again? Uh, get on... There we go. That was awkward. That was also awkward. Keep forgetting that it's triangle to actually like, you know, move the horse. Which makes literally zero sense whatsoever. There we go. All right, now we're off to a, off to a bit of a start. There we go. There we go. Firing on all hooves now, I, I guess. Yeah. So uh, either some kind of big scaraby thing, or maybe, maybe like a worm, perhaps, like a mighty sand worm. If anyone's seen the film Dune, you'll you'll understand what I'm getting at here. Now, we've got two bridges over here, haven't we? Let's go. I think this would be the logical way. I'm hoping it's going to be a fairly straightforward uh, affair. Now, what I might do with this game is... When we complete... Um, a Colossi. I might just end the video there. Like, as long as it doesn't go over half an hour. Then we can, like, kind of do one... Uh, cross eye at a time. Now, as for all the bonus stuff, I, you know, I'm not feeling it with this game. I'm really not. Like, I was thinking about going for all the trophies and all the collectibles and stuff. And uh, generally, um, I do that on a game by game basis. If a game really drags and draws me in, um, you know, I don't mind going for the, all these extra little Brucey bonuses. But as much as I am enjoying this game, I'm not finding it compelling enough to go for all that stuff. So, I, I don't know. And we do have another looming title dangling ever, ever so closely over us. Uh, like a proverbial Axe of Damocles or Axe of Odin, should we say. Uh, most of you, okay, if you think about it, will probably know what I'm, what I'm referring to. Uh, a very anticipated PlayStation game. Uh, coming out very very soon and I would like to stream or record it when it first comes out if possible or at least close to when it comes out anyway now um, that could be said that that is the game that I brought my PlayStation Pro for yeah although it does have a rather delicious uh, PlayStation Pro uh, special edition console which does look quite nice but I don't really care about special edition consoles I think the black looks nice. Anything under anything else under my TV I think would be weird. I like everything to be black. That's not that I have anything against some of these limited edition consoles. Some of them look extremely nice. But um, I also never think they're worth their money either. However, they do hold their value more um, as time goes on. But then I never sell my, my games on my consoles, so... You know, that's kind of a moot thing. And of course, we have to get our fat ass doors up this little narrow passage. Yes, think of that what you will. Ooh, what does that mean? I still don't know what it means when it goes yellow. I did look that up not that long ago, and there's literally no information at all on it. Which is curious. I assumed when it um, when your sword uh, starts to glow yellow that maybe either meant you're nowhere near the target or you're close to the target. But the more I think about it, the less sense that actually makes. Because that's not consistent with um, what we've been finding. Yeah, see it's still... Well, the desert was this way. Yeah, okay. Come on, Argo, my, my smelly friend. I assume you're smelly. I mean, maybe you're not. Maybe you just have classic horse gas from eating all of that 
delicious, delicious. Seriously, buddy? All that delicious uh, grass. Because you don't get any of the tasty fruit. That is all for us, I'm afraid. I didn't make the rules, okay? I would love to give you some tasty, delicious, nutritious fruit. Might actually make you smarter. I mean, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I don't think anything could make you you smarter, Argo. I think you lost the Battle of Wits years ago. That's all right. That's okay. That's what we're here for, buddy. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for? Yes. Yes. Now he looks stupid. Damn it. Argo, you've made me look stupid in front of everybody. Oh, balls. Well, technically, we could... Go just round this way. Yeah, this is where we fought the hard guy. Uh, Argo, why are you? What are you doing? You're just stop doing things. Oh, this game, this this horse. Oh, the horse! How I hate him so. Come on, there we go. There we go. Really, really. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. He he decided to carry on going. With a forward momentum that time. It's not as if he just flips himself around and did like some weird 360 no scope dealio. There we go. It's not as if we're playing Call of Duty, goddammit. Okay, there we go. I don't even know when this game came out. It's like 2006 or something. It's like, as far as I uh, am remembering, and I could very well be wrong, I think this was a really late release PlayStation 2 game. Something like 2005, 2006. Although when you think about it, that's only like four years into the PlayStation 2's life. So when did the PS2 come out? Ooh. Ooh. Have we got that temple? I don't think we have, you know. Let's go claim this temple. Now, where is the sleeping giant? Still over there, alright. Now, this temple over yonder. Hello, oh, we haven't got this one. Nice. I'll go. I didn't say stop now, buddy. Did I? You are a nightmare. Oh! That's curious. That's actually marked on the map. In a roundabout kind of way. Right, let's go get some Jesus in us. There we go. I assume we're praying to Jesus. As I said, uh, I'm not entirely sure. They're all the same, after all. Now, where are you? Jesus or Jesus? My friend always says that. I should go see her at some point. I haven't seen her for ages. Jesus or Jesus? Right, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Heathens. The lot of us, apparently. I just got called that once. Made me <laughs> made my day. Come on. Up we go. No, no. What? Why? Oh, oh. Hello, bud. Um, right. Now, this is where we do some delicate archery surgery. Yes, right. You heard me. Archery surgery. Hmm. If I was a delicious reptile... With a very tasty, grippy uh, tail. I'll be the Argo. Do not. Oh, okay. We knocked him down. I don't think we killed him. Argo, get your ass out of the way. Yeah, he's not dead. Argo, you look. You can at least help me. Help your master. Oh, God. Is that a kill shot? Nope. You slimy, sneaky bastard. Right, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't lose our cool. Oh, okay, we've apparently shot his tail off. Now we've killed the lizard. Okay. Well, that's not awkward. That's not awkward at all. God damn it. When is this ever worth it? Right, let's start this from scratch. Let's go up here. Now up here. Uh, oh god, bollocks, ass! And now the cat is getting 
all over me. Look, can you... One second, guys. And we're back. Right. Uh, let's get my timer restarted. There we go. Now, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. We had to find... Oh, God damn it. We had to go find a delicious tail. At least, I assume these tails are delicious. I mean, I'm not really sure myself. Raw lizard and all that. Maybe it's like sushi. But then, ugh. You couldn't pay me to eat that stuff. Right. Now, if I was a delicious tail... Where would I have fallen? Aha! Look at that! Pierced right through the edge of the tail. Not actually a bad shot if I say so myself. Oh! No, that's fine. That's fine. We can always get some Jesus to heal ourselves, but we don't really need it. Now, come on buddy! Let's continue. And now, one advantage of going AFK is I now have... Delicious chalice of coffee. Right, now. Uh, ooh. Hang on. No, that's fine. I was going to say I couldn't hear anything then for a minute. That was weird. Right, uh, no. Don't. See, why couldn't X be... Right, put the bow away. Hold up the sword of power. See, we still need to be going in this direction. Unless they mean the desert over here. Do they? Is that what we... Right, apparently... Okay, stop moving! Yeah, got that right, so it's in... This direction somewhere. Okay, uh... I'm confused. I mean, this is the desert that I know of. And the only desert that I know of. So... They definitely mentioned a desert, didn't they? Curious. Well, let's go. Back out into the big open wastes. At least the map isn't, like, super big, I suppose. I mean, small mercies and all that. Well, actually, it is pretty damn big. Yeah, he's definitely not here, anyway. We've lost our sword. At least we've lost the, uh, the light. Hmm. 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 I don't know. We're just going to keep wondering. Have we got... We've got that one. I don't know how we quick travel between um, shrines. I don't know why Argo has decided to slow right down. He likes to do that. Bless him. We're... S do... Oh, hang on. Was it a forest area? No, I'm sure. I'm sure they mentioned desert. I'm sure they did. Hmm. There's no way to actually um, find out what the uh, the dark ones said without going back to the shrine either. I don't think. Which is a bit of a pain. Uh... Yeah, it's not that way, is it? So whatever we're looking for has got to be down here, but that I didn't I didn't think that was desert down there. I thought that was um like a lush green forest. Oh come on horse. Yeah. You do my head in. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. You know, I really wish we didn't need the horse. I wish we could just travel around on foot. I mean I guess we probably could, but why are you slowing down? Why? Oh. Uh, you know what? Fuck you, buddy. I can't be bothered with you. Alright, we're going to go down here. I'm pretty sure when he's only cantering along like that, we're about the same speed on foot anyway.
I could be wrong about that. I'm probably wrong about that. Ooh. So what we're looking for... Yeah, is this way, where all this cloud is. Curious. Right, Argo. Are you ready, buddy? Are you ready? I'm going to give you another chance. But I'm telling you, the glue factory is your destiny. Come on. Come on. Move your fucking ass. Honestly. Jesus. There we go. Actually got a bit of speed on now. Good God. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Down this way. Okay. Or maybe not. And now you've gone into a very slow crawl again. Hang on. Stop. Stop. Are we going the right way? I don't know anymore. I have no idea. Man, we really need to... <sighs> this horse needs something. I don't know what he needs. I don't know whether he needs food. I don't know whether he needs Jesus. He needs something. Because threats of the glue factory aren't really bothering him like that. Let's be honest. Right. Big open plain. Have we got... We've got that one. Okay. Now, can you move quicker? Yeah. You cannot move quicker. Why? Now you can. Okay. Ah. Oh. Right. That was telling us. Yeah, we definitely need to go in this direction. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. So definitely this way. Okay, there does look like uh, a bit of a desert area over here. Well, it did. Until the light changed. Now it looks fairly standard. Oh. Oh, well, hello there. How do we get across? Well, it's definitely gone all moody. So I think that's a good sign. Although, yeah, thinking about it, every time we're near a Colossus, uh, the atmosphere changes. It goes all moody and gloomy. Does that indicate evil intent? I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely the way we need to go. Where was this? Oh, okay. It's in a piece of map that's totally obscured. by the um, uh, cloud on the map, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. Uh, think. I'm going this way. Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. You, sir, have a lot of armor. It's like a giant turtle thing. Okay. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, ouch. Well, hey, you hit Argo. That's not very nice. Only I'm supposed to hit Argo. Wait, did I say that? Uh, I mean... Yeah, let's roll with it. It's already out there. Oh, God. Wow, that really hurts. Right, you son of a bitch. You're like one of those things from um, Starship Troopers. One of those big bugs. Right, now... Oh, God. Not good, not good, not good. Not good. Please don't squish you the head. Please don't squish the head. 
I'm guessing you've got a weak spot under here somewhere. Somewhere? Maybe? Maybe not, of course. Um, not good. Yeah, that's supposed to show you their weak spots, but it doesn't really... Ooh. There's some weird ooze coming from his leg. Um, no. That is not very effective. Um, ah, can we remove these plates? don't think we can. Um, okay, Wanderer, leave this with me, buddy. Uh, Argo, if you were a smart horse, which we've already ascertained that you're not, I would be getting out of there. Right, shoot. Oh, God, shoot them with the arrow. I can't see how this burn arrow would actually do any damage, mind you, but... Mm, no? Hmm. Maybe shoot him in the eyes. That seems like a logical thing. I like the way the, the land and everything is deforming. That is cool. Ah, can we climb up his tail? Ah, come here, my friend. I jump onto this giant log looking tail thing. No. No, we can't. Okay. Noted. How do we tumble you over? Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. 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 Thank you, sir. May I have another? That was ironic. I don't actually want another. Ah, oh, the scale of these monsters is insane. It's truly fantastic. Uh, the power of the earth shall shake even the Colossus. The power of the earth. What the fuck is that? What am I? S oh, am I supposed to bring down, bring something down on his head? The hell are you talking about, man? Thing. The power of the earth. Nope. Um. Well, if he goes again. Wow, look at... Ah, oh, look, there's blatant, like, climbing. Uh, notches on his back. So that is something that's fairly obvious. It does have glowing things under his... Under his leg armour, but... How, oh, yeah, look, see, you can see it. But how do we... How do we expose that? Uh, he's moaning. Is that a... Is that a thing? The power of the earth. Yeah, that means nothing, buddy. We don't have any earth magic. Oh, here we go. Like, right, let's bring him out. Um, and he is significantly faster than that. Right, come here. Come here, you. You might actually be of some use here. Um, all right, come on, buddy. You're gonna have to you have to move. Now, what have we got? What can we look at here? The power of the earth. Ooh. Oh. Oh, hang on. What's this? What does this do? Um, do we have to get him to stamp on that, perhaps? Hey, buddy! Oi! Show me some damn respect. Come on, pal. This way. Oh, God. Okay. Um, this is just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. Get up, you fool. But I don't know. How do we activate that, then? We can't shoot it. Oi, dickhead. You're seriously not showing me the respect I deserve. Can you feel... Can you even feel that? I would guess not. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Okay. Okay. He's angry. He is angry. Come on, bud. How do we get him to, like, notice me, senpai? 
There we go. Uh oh. Oh, this is not going to be great. Ooh, okay. Yep, that was not good. There we go. Come on, pal. This way. Do your stampy thing. Go on. Do it. Do it. Oh, God. Here we go. Here he goes. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe he wasn't close enough. Do we have to shoot him in the eyes? Shoot him in the eyes, perhaps. Come on, buddy. Squish me. I dare you. I dare you to squish me, pal. Go on. Give me your best squishy shot. Go on. Let's see it. Hmm. Hmm. That does not appear to be doing anything. Okay, well, he's going to do it again. We need multiple hits. Does he have to perhaps hit directly onto that? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, God. Look, enough with the bloody fireballs, you dickhead. There we go. Right. Is that going to come straight down on that? Unless we have to use this to jump up to him? No. Nope. Hmm, I am unsure. See, that doesn't appear to be doing anything to him. I mean, there's a lot of power coming from that. Uh-oh, get up, buddy. Get up! Do we have to get him to jump on it when... Hmm... Maybe he has to jump on it when it's actually shooting steam. Maybe. So I'm guessing we need that to break its armor. Did that do anything? No. Hmm. And we can't actually shoot that open or anything. We don't have any, like, explosive... Unless that's gas. Do we have to get him to hit it with his fire? Maybe? Yeah, see, he's got that yellow stuff on all of his feet. But his feet are armoured. Which is problematic. Uh, buddy... Show me some attention, mate. Come on. The power of the earth. It has to be something to do with that, surely. But what it has to do with that, I don't know. Trouble is, he's so incredibly slow. He's not really showing us any kind of respect. Uh, can you steam on, please? Or gas on, whatever you prefer. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Come on. Once more feeling, buddy. There we go. Um, now hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. No, it's not doing anything. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and that doesn't do anything either. Do we have to get him to walk along it, maybe? Is that it? Oh, God. I mean, it's got to be said. It's kind of like fire breath stuff. It does look amazing. Right. Here he comes. He is right over that thing now. Yeah, just... Hmm. Must be something we can do to... Influence that a little bit. Doesn't put him out. Yeah, still no damage. And it's not like he's breaking these over time, either. 
Hmm, okay, well we're actually out of time, guys, to be honest. Even though nothing's actually happened in this episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment a little bit off camera and see what I can find. I'll be right back. If I find out how to defeat him um, soon, I will keep continuing this recording. So, one second, guys. Oh, uh, okay, well, continuing on, that wasn't actually that bad. Looks like you've just got to get him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, was Oh, shit. Okay, so it is the geyser, but you have to get him over the right part of the geyser, I think. Okay. So, I kind of had the right idea. Um... How do we get on this guy? That's the next question. Oh, what about these? Yep, that'll do it! Right! Haha, -ha, you bastard! Now, if I was a big stabby part on your body, where would I be? This is a fur under his belly, I think. Yeah, it's under his belly. I'm guessing his attack points are on the top of his body. Come on. Yeah, man. Um. Uh. Yes? Question mark. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That looks about right. I think. Hang on. How do we? Oh, okay. 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 That makes a little bit of sense. Careful now. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, easy, easy, fella, easy. Okay, I'm not seeing any stabby marks. Oh shit. Um, stabby marks on his head, maybe. It's generally more than one, though. Right. Yeah. Here we go. It's gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me, mate. I promise. One. This can't. Just. Oh shit! Hold on, buddy. Hold. Hold. Oh no. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. I know. This is gonna suck for you. I know. Ooh. We are just twisting in the wind here. There we go. Another one down. Oh man. Okay. Come on. Get another one. No, that was no good. Wanderer, you fool. Oh, God. It's like riding a fucking Bronco. Come on. There we go. Okay, so you just have just enough power to stab him. My concern is... Ugh, this can't be the only spot on his head. Right, let's run. Let's... Oh, man. We seriously need to recharge our, our grip. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good for another round, I think. Oh, uh, there we are. And again. Oh, maybe this is the only one he has. That would be interesting. That would make him one of the easier bosses so far. Will you stab him in the brain, please? Yeah. Okay. Come on, fella. Now stop that nonsense. Stop that nonsense. There. Ooh. Okay. That guy was remarkably easier. Lurker of the cave. Okay. Very, very easy. Actually. Hmm. Well, there's number nine. Number nine felled. We're becoming more powerful with each one we fell. That one was quite complicated to actually get on top of, although it was fairly easy. It was just the, the game design. You had to be in a very specific place for it to trigger, which was a little bit cheap. But at the same time, you can't really be that harsh on the game for something like that. Hmm. And again, we've taken us... That's taken us, really, to about half 
half an hour, so I'm happy with that. And another one has been felled. I reckon you could do that boss really quickly, actually. Really quick. So what's that, seven left? Was that nine or ten? Oh, this is the sand one. Okay. Shaking the earth, its gaze is upon thee. So what was that one then? Could have sworn it said it was a sand monster. Alright. Well, some kind of sand beetle, I assume. Like a massive great big scarab, that'd be cool. Hmm. That would be interesting. Oh, we're getting a bit of bit of frame droppage here. This ain't no smooth 60 frames a second. I can tell you that for nothing. Anyway, guys, I enjoyed that. Um, apart from Argo trying to sabotage us there, as he always does. I hope you enjoyed it as well. When we come back, I guess this time we're going to the desert. Why did I think we were going to the desert then? That's so strange. Alright, we're going that direction. We're going that, but it, isn't the desert at the, the north? Well, I guess it's saying we're going over there, so I guess we're going over there. Oh, look at that. When we kill a Colossus, the dark shadow uh, on the map actually disappears. I thought there was more shadow on the map when we started. Uh, or cloud, I should say. That's interesting. So are these things inherently evil then? Hmm. That's kind of just changed my opinion. How intriguing. I never noticed that the shadow was clearing up. Hmm. Okay, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, to the desert. Till then, guys. Till then.